I'm enjoying a nice snack from Auntie Anne. Natalie is inside Mr. Sims' sweet shop filming an interview. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm here with Tracy at Mr. Sims' sweet shop. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Yeah? Um, I'm good, thank you. I've heard about the um, special Tracy's sweet bag. Oh, so, yes. um, the Tracy special. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so, what's in that? Okay, so uh, pick mix, yep. basically. It's different all the way down. Um, so normally I put a few strawberries in, rainbow belts, a bit of sour, a little bit of chocolate. That's my childhood dream. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> well, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine being surrounded by this all day, candy coated apples and pounds of fudge and all sorts of different flavors. It is a dream job, it really is. It can't get better than making candies at the Jersey Shore. As beachgoers stroll the boardwalk, the Jenkinson Sweet Shop staffers dip apples and pretzels and lots of other treats that taste oh so good, lathered with chocolate or caramel. New colorful popcorn is poured into a big tray and eventually bagged. Anna makes about 80 pecan turtle rods a week here during the summer months. It starts with dipping a pretzel stick into the caramel. How am I doing here? You're doing pretty good. And then we're going to take our pretzel rod out of the caramel and we're going to spin it against the spatula. It's a lot of fun and it's awesome. Next, we're going to roll it into our pecans. Then it's dipped in chocolate. The whole process from start to finish typically takes about an hour and a half. This is what the finished product looks like. 